black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. Back with another mukbang today featuring KFC. Uh, okay, here's the thing. KFC, it's like I always give it another chance to, to prove itself. And every time KFC just, it comes, it falls short. I don't want to bring negativity, but I have to just because KFC, it's like, at least in Canada, it's like, dude, you gotta get it together. Like you're slipping, you're slacking. Uh, this took like an hour and 10 minutes to get here. And every time I've ever ordered KFC in the past couple years, it always comes just lackluster. So we'll see once we eat it, it's looking okay now, but I'm just saying if anybody from KFC Canada is watching this, guys, you gotta tighten up. You gotta tighten up. So anyways, what do we have? We have this double zinger, which I've been seeing advertised. Of course, on the advertisement, it looks incredible amazing but here it looks i'm not gonna say that's bad it looks pretty good and then we got the poutine and kfc poutine does not let down i will say that kfc poutine is consistently banger got a macaroni salad and uh i think they discontinued that green coleslaw by the way and then just a uh, chicken piece so this is like a big big box meal and uh i'm here for it can't wait to get into it uh before we do that we must pour up. And as per usual, today we are breaching. It's a high breach, actually. And we're back with the Diet Dr. P. This meal did come with a full sugar Pepsi, but you know what? No. No, just just no. We will come. Oh, getting a little, a little saucy today on the side, I see. Trying to escape the perimeter. Okay. Oh, oh, ah, uh, yeah. No, that's 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 a no spill zone. I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay. So we must let it cool down. Calm yourself, Stacy. Why is it Stacy? I don't know. I just these are the things I say sometimes. Okay, we're on a. We're on a, uh, a dramatic fizz today, okay? But we will come to line level. Little ditty about Rose and Jack. She never held him back on the board and closet and let him die. So we must. That's a zinger. Okay. Very good though. And you know this, man. Do you know that movie reference? Hood comedy. Okay. Boom, let's get it. Okay, I already did, I already showed you this, so stop itself. I already showed you this. But I did do the thing that I'm not supposed to do in Canada, Canuckland, is uh, they say that you you shouldn't catch a bit, but ay ay ay, I have to. Okay, this is actually weirdly what I'm most excited about is this poutine. Holy crap! Is this where is this where KFC is like I hate you, but then I eat you, and I'm like. Okay, you redeem yourself. I love you. I'm sorry. Because when you have a bite looking like that, it's just like, you know. It's love at first bite. You guys don't know. I gotta say, KFC poutine, is really just something else. It's too good. Look at that cheese flap, flapping around. Mm 
mm -mm. that's almost way too good right now i could devour and crush that immediately but we're gonna let it we're gonna let it live a bit give it some life mm -hmm. let's go buy the sandwich and today i want to actually open up the floor, ask the audience, have a little discussion about uh, about facial hair on men. And I want both the women and men of these, this channel audience to weigh in on it, more specifically the women, I guess. But maybe men, you can give me your reason as to why. We're gonna talk about it. Facial hair and men. So what's in this guy, pickles? Ooh, I like those pickles, those look good actually. I'll just show you. I love pickles like this. The bright white. Almost kosher -y. ripple cut. So I'll have a bite of it as it should be. And then I got some sauces over here just in case. But yeah, we're going to talk about facial hair on men. Okay. Okay. KFC. I KFC you, homie. I see you. This sandwich is doing it. I'm into it. I think these pickles are actually bread and butter. There's a sweetness and there's a heatness with the sauce. I'm into it. I really, really am. Mm -hmm. It's definitely doing its thing. And here I am stuck with hating on KFC and then loving on KFC. It's a problem. So, facial hair. Let's talk about it. Here's how I feel about it. I'm an advocate for men rocking their facial hair. Now I know it's not that simple. Some dudes don't have it like that. Some dudes are patchy. Some dudes really can't run a facial hair game, which I, I understand. That's you. Keep it clean cut. Go baby face. That's your genetics. You know? Run that. But. If you can grow facial hair. And you choose to run a clean look. My question is. First, Why? I understand sometimes it's for professionalism in your job. Outside of that, if it's not, why? <clears throat> and then I'll also say this. I think if you can have good facial hair, personally, I think it's a slap in the face to your masculinity to not rock facial hair. And... In my belief, you're doing yourself a disservice in, a, in relation to attracting women. Because my thinking is this, and this is where I want the girls to weigh in at, is like, I think personally that 80% of women probably... And I don't know this, but in my 
estimate would be that 80% prefer a man with facial hair. Now, I'm not talking scraggly gross beards and shit like that. Because I know that's undesirable. What I'm thinking is properly groomed. well-worn facial hair you know a complimentary aspect to your aesthetic i've met women who have said that they prefer a clean shaven face So they are out there. There's someone for everyone. But. Most women I've met. Have said facial hair is like. For sure. Now here's the thing. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why men have facial hair. And that is, it's, it's, it's nature. It's a law of nature. And basically what facial hair is for women and men, it's a signal to tell women non-verbally that that person with the facial hair has high testosterone, good genes, masculine genes, selective reproduction genes. On a prime, primal level, I think it's there to serve kind of that indication, right? Of, that's a good match. Or, you know, that's a good, I find them attractive because of their exhibiting masculinity. And that's why I say to dudes who, if you have facial hair, or you have, or I should say, if you have the potential to grow good facial hair and you don't, I feel like kind of fucking yourself over. If you're out here in the dating pool. So I'd be intrigued to know down below. How women feel about this. Facial hair or not. And. Dudes. Specifically the ones who choose to not grow it. I guess I already know your reasoning would be. aesthetically you don't like yourself with it or it's annoying on a from a maintenance perspective maybe all valid reasons to not run facial hair But for myself, I legitimately couldn't imagine myself going 
going back to babyface. I just know I would hate how I look. So I personally am into having facial hair, obviously. And I legitimately have not shaved clean in years, lots of years. And to be honest with you, I can't even fathom it and it makes me uncomfortable to think about it. All right, last bite. I'm over it. So, I'd love to know down below what's your take on the face with the hair or not. Till the next one, though, you don't know what to do. That's, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, it's eat good, live well, and stay true.